Right, I'm in our games room, stroke my son's lounge at the moment. Um, he's got a day off and he's very busy. Always. Um, Hubby's just got home from work um, and I set him on and my son actually to sort out stuff in the games room. I can hoover and dust the room, it's just that I needed yay or nay to certain items because I don't know what cables are what, I don't know what games are what and whatever. I only know about the Wii which is my only console but anyway this pile here this is what I mean things gather up someone keeps um, buying controllers and new mouse and then don't get rid of the old ones so we've got all that there's a lot of these are just empty cases um, some games in the past we've actually kept the cases but by the time they go back to the shop unless they go back pretty quickly after their release and you completed the game you don't get much um, money back for them isn't that right yep so um the games that they are keeping are the ones that they play regularly and we're just getting rid of the cases because you won't get much for them anyway a lot of packaging here and um, boxes finally got rid of it so quite a big pile there here is a whole pile of psp games and movies they are going to a relative so there's quite a few there uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. About 21 items there, so that's pretty good. And then to go to um, the charity shop, we've got a controller here. Um, we did hold on originally to a few um, GameCube games because they play on the Wii, but these haven't been on Earth for over a year, so they're going to the charity shop just in case anybody wants them. Um, someone still might have a GameCube. And there's also some PC games and Hub is pulled up all my PC, um, Sims games and everything. And I've agreed with a bit of reluctance to get rid of them all. Um, but they're going as well. So there's quite a few items there. And then this silver case. So not bad going so far. So well and above... Um, my 10 items or five items should I say for today so and that's just for today's um, sorting out of the game stroke my son's lounge um, we still got a few um, cables here and bits and pieces which they've um, just said what they're for so I'm quite happy with that so once I've finished I can actually start um, re-cleaning the um, games room and give it a good dust as you can see we've got all the different consoles going along there and um, I will show you what's in the drawers um, when I'm finished I have now finished cleaning and going through the games room stroke my son's lounge um, this sign have been made and I'll just give a overview of the room first of all and then I'll go into more details. Um, I have shared this room. Um, we did this about five years ago I would say. This used to be my eldest son, son's room um, until he um, left home. Um, it's taken me a fair few days to do this room. Most of it is because um, I don't have a lot of dealings with this except coming into um, Hoover and Dust. So um, it's took a while to make um, decisions on certain bits and pieces for when um, the guys were available actually um, to ask about different bits and pieces. So um, starting with the um, printer scan on copier. Um, this was from I believe Staples. 
um, this rubber mat, which is a keyboard. I actually bought Hubby um, a couple of Christmases ago because it's one of those roll ones. Um, because we are great fans of the Diards and this was, I believe, Diard 4 about the hackers. Um, we've had this sometimes, so I can't remember where this plastic unit from. That's where we um, sort and organise paperwork. Um, that's another reason I may come in here. Um, the tower, which is under the desk, is um i believe could be dell i'm sure it is actually and i believe um the um screen came from caress um we have got two of the picture shelves one there and one on that wall from ikea um, the desks were from Ikea and I like to think that I had most of the brains on the desk and figurement because um, what happened was um, they were looking at desks, they were expensive and to tell you the truth were a waste of space and I said why didn't you just buy the worktops which we'd seen the desktops and I'd also seen the amount of times we've been to Ikea the extendable um, legs now these legs were quite expensive because they I say they are the adjustable ones because what we find is the problem is because my guys are um, over six foot and also to make room for the chair to go under um, so because they like the chair quite high obviously to make it comfortable so that worked out when a lot of the desks didn't seem to give a lot of um, leg room as well so I said well buy the two um, desktops and have it in a L-shaped, that way um, it would use all the space up. So they measured it, and that's the longer one, along that one, and then the shorter one along that way. So we left that bit of space so that, um, obviously, because the door, um, it just makes plenty of room um, for the PC, office work, or anything like that. Um, as I said, it's not my department, this room. I clean it. Um, so I will do my best, as I said before when I videoed this room, I'll do my best to um, say where everything came from. Um, the chair was from Staples. And that is actually um, a fair few years now, but it's held up so well. And it's one of the most comfortablest chairs, I must admit. I'm envious because my chair is small because I've got only my small cubby and I can't have arms because of my fixed desk and the arms wouldn't actually go under the table. So I'm quite envious of this chair. It's really, really comfortable. Um, I believe the keyboard was from um Curry's. um this i am not sure i think this could have been Curry's as well pc Curry's. i'm not 100 percent sure it could have been amazon and he's got the new placemat placemat um, mouse mat here um he does have the speakers um that's just one of those like plasma ball there that is the socket because it's more handy there to plug in laptops and everything um it just makes everything a lot easier i do have two um cabinets for paperwork that one and that one that is the only thing left to go through which we normally go through in january and um get you know destroy anything that's not needed 
this is where I keep the battery storage as I've um, done a video on how I organize our batteries two boxes under there is what I store paperwork and any mail and I think that needs to be burnt as I said before we used to shred until I burnt out two shredders and then we've got a garden incinerator so we just burn it every few months I do have um, a laptop case under there in case we want to take a laptop off anywhere, holidays or whatever. I have got my own case. Um, this was another idea of mine, is these plastic things to um, cover the table so it don't get marked. Especially with moving things to bits and pieces. They, I believe, were 9 99 each from Ikea. And I got the two there. This was actually um, from a charity shop. It was brand new, all in its cellophane. It had WH Smiths on and I got it for 99p. Um, so I tend to use that more when I'm leaning on it to, um, to do any writing or anything if necessary. As I said, I do have my little cubby downstairs. So that is that. Coming over to the larger fitment unit, which is IKEA. This was another idea I had. This is the sort of thing I'd have liked in the lounge, but we haven't got room for this sort of thing, um, and I prefer my fireplace. But it's worked out well. Starting at the top, we've got a variety of the um, guys' um, helicopters. We have two drones as well. So the helicopters, um, most of these actually came um, from the gadget store and I'll think of the name in a minute. Um, I'm, I'm not 100% sure actually where the larger one come from. It was another gadget, um, gadget store, I know the other two small ones came from the gadget store I'm not sure about the larger one there's all the remotes um, both the drones came from um, Hawkins Bazaar in Cornwall the um, game over transfer came from um, I believe Amazon and then so that's got another drone in that's my hubby's one this is where I keep um, the paper for the printer and it's got photo paper and I think like that and that's the accessories for the drone in that silver case and the top one has got um, bits and pieces for the helicopters. So coming down, um, this is my son's TV, I've got a reflection there, if I come over a bit. Um, I believe, did this TV came from, I think it came from PC World, no, Curry's, yeah, Curry's straight PC World, I believe it is, yes, I'm sure that's correct, and along with the um, sound bar and everything, now we have quite a few consoles, we have the first one's an Xbox 360, that's Hubby's. Then we have the PlayStation 4, the Xbox 360, that's my son's, and then the Xbox One is also my son's. And over here is the PlayStation 3, that's Hubby's. I know there's a lot. I have got the Wii. Um, which is the L oldest console and that's the only one that's actually specifically mine and I do have that in the lounge and we have the PlayStation 4 still in the lounge that goes to the caravan. So what I'm going to do is I am going to sit on the floor because this is something I didn't actually go through before is the drawers. Now this unit um, was one price. I think it was about 100, 125 pounds. I'm not 100% sure. But all the drawer fronts, hardware, and the cupboard fronts is all extra. So 
what I've done is, I know the consoles are com um, in and out. Um, a lot of them are fixed right at the back. So I've, I've tried to make sure all the gaming um, accessories or the games are all under the different consoles. So starting with, this is Hubbers 360 and there are the games in there. I've literally, this is what took the time, is I took everything out of each drawing cupboard, dusted, cleaned it. But there was an awful lot of bits and pieces that I didn't know what they were. Cables, packaging and, um, and stuff like that that I needed the guys to go through. And then underneath is um, controllers and bits and pieces for that console. So going along for the next one, the same sort of thing. Um, PlayStation 4, there's the games and there. It's my son's favourite, I think that's Destiny 2. And then underneath, we do have the PlayStation 3 games. And as I say, the that console is up there because originally that went to the caravan. But very often, I think... We alternate between the PlayStation 3 and 4, whether they go to the caravan or not. Then we've got 360 again. This is my son's Call of Duty. And then just an odd controller. But I'm not kidding you, these were all chock-a-block. So we did actually... Um, Declutter quite a bit, but it was just trying to get, as I say, the guys at, even together, um, different times to go through everything. And then we've got the Xbox One, um, some um, headphones and bits and pieces for that one. And the P everything to do with the PSP is in there. And touching across. This is mine. This is my little bit. <laughs> it's my Wii. All my Wii games. A few more Wii games and the rubber sleeves for the controllers. So um, I do have my um we board for the keep fit downstairs that's why i have it in the lounge while i'm on the floor before i go back there's the guitar for like guitar hair on that um now the actual stand for the um steering wheel i believe um came from amazon and the steering wheel is a new one for my last um, tour of the games room. That came from Courage Stroke PC. So, and obviously got the foot pedals as well, just to make the experience brilliant. So the bottom one. That is my little cupboard and we've emptied quite a lot. I didn't actually show you any footage to start with of the um, games room, but we've got empty space now. So that is my DS and in this box, I've got the actual um, DS in there and um, cables and all the bits and pieces. Then this one is the Skylanders, which is Hubby's. And then at the top, excuse the little jolt, will I get up, is anything to do with the PC and I've got the external hard drive there. Um, I have actually um, shown this before. Um, this is the um, Lego game and all the Lego pieces. I got this for my son, just a bit those few little bits. This box came from the range and it's to the Lego Dimensions game, which is this one. Here we are, here's the case. So I've just put everything, oops, 
that is um, just a metal bar that I use sometimes to lock the windows a bit for security. Um, going back to this, yeah, so that's all the, to do with the um, Lego Dimensions game. And then when we was in on holiday once, I sort of measured one of the larger pieces of Lego for the game. And so they could stay built up. So there we are. And all these sort of bits. Sorry for the light. And these are all adjustable. So I do like trying to find the different um, containers to hold um, bits and pieces um, so they stay organised. I do have a spare keyboard and I think which has to go in this ottoman. There's a suede ottoman that runs along here. That just stores all the um, boxes and um, bits and pieces um, that are more bulky that need to be kept. So just put those there. The sofa um, was bought off of um, eBay. Um, it's real leather, two-seater, the foot plates do come up, and we bought this for £50. So, it's lovely and comfortable. This cushion cover, cinema popcorn, I think, and the computer one came from Amazon. And this um, is the remote control um, cushion gadgets and um, bits and pieces in there. That was um, a gift to my son. I think, again, it's come from the gadget shop. That was actually um, from his brother. So, and then we have the laptop table, which we sort of use as a coffee table when it's not in use um, with the bin. And usually there's a little snack box there but uh, that has been um, used all up and it's just got a few biscuits left. The tissue box, as I pointed out before, I think this came from Poundland, I haven't been able to get any more of these, which I love this, so I tend to just refill it with some tissues because I like the game um, theme and then also these um, coasters um, also came I think from Amazon. Just behind there is the satellite dish for the caravan and also we keep the um, TV for the caravan through the winter um, which will be going back shortly. On the floor it does light up but I haven't got it lit up at the moment is the mat and all those light up around the outside that is from Ikea and another idea of mine is the cover. These are $19.99, or they were from Ikea. I've got one in my cubby as well to save the carpet from wear and tear with the wheels. It just protects it so it doesn't ruin your carpet. And mine actually helps because I do do um, arts and crafts in mine and it just protects my carpet as well although mine actually fits the whole area because I haven't got a say um, a very big space so mine's my girly space and this is like the guys room um, has the lounge we do have the ceiling light fan and the remote is here near the light switch and I stipulate, unlike the lounge where we keep it in the remote control box, this remains on the wall so it doesn't get misplaced. So again, I hope I've covered most things. Oh, by the way, the curtains came from Dunelm and so did the curtain rod. And I've got another, I've got two of these rugs. I've got one in here and one in my cloakroom. That is just, again, to protect, because it's surprising how heavy that steering wheel stand is. 
um, because obviously um, marks on the carpet as I say everything else will not actually be moving so you know after a while they do make marks and datations in the carpet but I've left that there so obviously it protects the carpet a bit again I think I have covered everything I keep saying that oh the um, canvases came from Cornwall we've got flash there with the arrow and we've got Deadpool over there and this was a um, craft DIY done with a box frame. Um, this was to celebrate mine and hus hubby's um, 30th wedding anniversary last year. And we went to Cornwall and I made all that up just to represent the holiday. And I was hoping to possibly, we may put that up in the lounge, but at the moment, because of the black frame, it's up here. And the last thing is, Again, more headphones. I was tired of finding them all over the desk. So I've put a spare over the door um, hooks and just took all the different um, headphones up the top there. So that is my son's lounge. As I said, if he doesn't want to spend time with us, he's got his own space. Um, and also sometimes we do come up here, especially if there's a group of us, my other son come and they want a game session, um, we come up here. So um, it's used an awful lot. Um, it's just nice to, obviously, once in a while just to give it um, a thorough blitz. Once a year I try and go through the whole cabinet Although now a lot of the games um, that are in the um, drawers and cupboard are what is being kept. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I might be just including um, a little bit of what we were getting rid of in here. I do have a couple of little bits still under the table that I've got to be sorted um, but again I have stipulated this I know it's an idea to actually concentrate on one area but I'd be held up for so long if I waited for other members of the family to say yay or nay on certain bits and pieces but basically this room is about done I've just got a small um, container under the desk of bits and pieces that um, are still waiting to go out of the home. So um, that is the games room.